All right, folks, we're at the legendary Beer Lake. Been out here with my buddy Corey. We've been turkey hunting all morning. Friendships are about compromise. I told him I'd go film him turkey hunting this morning if he let me get out here and fish and catch one of these 10 pounders up here bedding. He was only supposed to hunt for three hours. It's two o'clock and we're just now getting out to the lake. He even brought his gun on the boat in case he hears one case. goblin over there on that hillside. So finally out here on the water, wind's blowing about 15. So it kills some of our patterns of bed fishing and things like that. But I got a couple tricks up our sleeves. Two o'clock, but let's get started. So we got extremely high winds out here on the lake today and most people would never throw top water in this situation, but I can't wait to try out the new Toad Runner Frog. I'm gonna make one adjustment to it that I do on all my white frogs in the spring. Add a little bit of red right there around the lips. And then a little bit of chartreuse right down the side. And if you're not familiar with this marker, this is called a spike it. It has the chartreuse and the red in the marker. And there we go, folks. Perfect little frog. Simple little modification, but the devil's in the details. All right, Corey's gonna start off with the leopard and I'm gonna start off with the modified albino. blow up he got it came third time gosh that was huge blow ups three all the way out of the water well guys we know what we're doing for a little while that was awesome that was that was one of the best blow ups i've seen in a long time there he is got it th he just can't hold on to it he hit Throw it in there, Corey. Follow it up. Yeah, I don't know if it was the same fish. He just couldn't get it in his mouth. Corey's got him. <laughs> we got one bass right here. We're taking turns. My turn, Corey. <laughs> he just cannot get it in his mouth. Ooh. Got him. There we go. That's a female. Finally hooked up with one of these big ones. Oh, don't get me around that trolling motor. No, I got her. Whew, I love hearing that sound. Yes, sir. All right. She ought to be about ready to come on in. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. A thing of beauty. On the frog. Heck yeah. That is what makes you love bass fishing right there. Came up and popped it. Put up a good fight. Probably left a bed. Yep, look at that red fin right there. Probably left a bed to come out and smash a frog. All right. Enjoyed the ride. Plop, plop. Hey guys, my name is Bama Bass. I'm addicted to frog fishing. This is my buddy Corey. He's addicted to turkey hunting. He can't even put his call down for a minute while we're out here on the lake. All right guys, we found a very distinct pattern already. We've been fishing the banks, hadn't been getting any bites up on the banks, but every time you come across a little piece of wood, then we've been getting bit. So I don't know what it is. They should be up there spawning, but right now there's a lot of fish hanging around the wood. So we're just gonna keep fishing these little isolated targets. Like that right there, that's where we've been getting all of our strikes. That left side, if, we, if it just wasn't in the direct wind. There you go. That one sounded like a good female right there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at that, that is a sight to see. Gosh, you gotta love that. She's a pretty thing. Mm-hmm. 
five pounder on the frog hold that up and let's look at that jeez look at that right there that is a beauty got the hooks right there in the top got that leopard frog got Corey with a stud Oh, there we go. Yeah, I made a big, that might have been a carp. Ooh, there we go. Oh, it spit it. Got it right, right around that limb and threw it at me. <laughs> that was a lucky fish. I didn't even, wasn't even about to throw in there right then. Looked like a grass carp flopped back there behind it. Why'd you get the uh, buku rod? What was it that? Oh. There you go. <laughs> he was too small to eat it, but. Got him. Right off that point. Looks like some rocks were right there. Come on in here. Man, this one's got a little red tint to it. It is a little chunky thing. We'll take it. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Got the old tail down in its throat. Got a shad halfway digested and eating a frog. And about to poop. That's what you call a hog right there. Oh, look at, ooh, ooh. He came up to grab it off that limb. Let me get it back in there on that limb. Man, that was a nice three pounder. Came up to snatch it, toe dangling technique, and I pulled it right up his mouth. Them turkeys flew down fast this morning. They were down, some of them, before we even got there. Yeah, there was hen. What in the world? <laughs> it's crazy fish. Like five or 10 or 15 minutes of sleep ain't gonna What is going on here? These shad must be out here. Dude, look at this. There's like a school of fish right here. There he is. He did. No, he came back and got it the second time. Go. <laughs> we have been trying to catch that fish right there. Every time we come around this point, Corey hooks it, usually right when it comes across that tree limb, and he bit it the second time this go round, and that's the reason we got him. Show him to me, Corey. I, I Little two pounder. I think you can see how he bit it. Yeah. Go of it, and it came back. Came and back and it. swatted at it. Nice. Look, she's been fanning. All right, folks, we're about to head back to the camp house and play some ping pong and eat a good meal and get back out on the water in the morning. But I have to say, so far, happy with the results of the new Booyah Toad Runner. I think a lot of the fish came up and hit the tail today, but that was a lot of the smaller fish. You could see whenever it was a bigger bass and it could get the whole thing, you could catch it. But overall, it got those big bass blow-ups, and that's what we always love. One little cool feature about this bait is you can bend the tail to go straight, you can bend it back a little bit so that changes the noise level that it makes and that changes the way it sits in the water and everything so that was that's pretty interesting that's one improvement from the sprinkler frog that you can actually change the pitch of the tail but overall one fine frog check them out at bamafrogs.com Corey, get ready i'm fixing a beach in some ping pong <laughs>